Hey everyone, welcome to a Minecraft video. Now, most of my subscribers are probably asking one of two questions. One, Zoob, where's the Genshin content? And two, why Minecraft? Well, I like Minecraft, and I happen to be interested in this particular topic, so I decided to make a video about it. Also, I felt that I should branch out from just Genshin, otherwise I'm going to run out of Genshin content really fast. So, what is this video going to be about? Well, if you read the video title, then you know that this video is a DPS check, which is something I like to do. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately, and since the server I'm playing on has a lot of custom weapons, I was curious how good these weapons are, and that led me to questioning just how good the vanilla weapons actually are. I looked it up, and there's a lot of discourse on the strongest melee weapon, or strongest ranged weapon, but not a lot of definitive answers. Not to mention, there are a lot of different metrics to measure weapons by, and in a variety of scenarios so I decided to try my hand at it. Now, this video was intended to cover both melee and ranged weapons, then I looked at my script and saw it spanned about 8 pages of text. That's a bit too much for a single video, so I've split it into two videos, this one on just the melee weapons, and a future video on ranged weapons, assuming that this video does well. With that said, let's get started. The first thing to do is lay out the assumptions and notes for the calculations I'm going to be doing. Assumption 1, all weapons will be in their final form, so that basically means they're the right weapons. Assumption 2, the player never misses. Some weapons are harder than others to hit, but for the purposes of my calculations, I assume that if you're intending to hit, your weapon will hit. So if you're using like a bow, I'm assuming you're going to hit with the bow. These are random weapons. Assumption 3, these values are all going to be 1v1 values. Most weapons are only good at dealing damage to one enemy at a time, only the sword or rocket crossbow and enchanted trident are capable of dealing AoE damage, but only the rocket crossbow deals significant AoE damage. Assumption 4, armor is not being calculated for damage done. All damage values are raw and don't take into account the armor or armor enchantments because those have their own mathematical calculations that take in damage dealt and then output true damage. Dealt. And the final assumption, assumption 5, the opponent is assumed to be another player. With a simple max Nazarite axe, you can pretty much one-shot most normal mobs in the game, so min-maxing for that is pretty much useless. That's basically it, so now it's time for the actual math. The first weapon is the classic sword, it's been in the game since the beginning, and is an overall solid weapon. Now, the basic Nazarite sword has a base damage of 8 with an attack speed of 1.6. For those who don't know, the attack speed in Minecraft can be a bit disingenuous. The attack speed here refers to attacks per second as opposed to seconds per attack that I know some games use. As a result, the sword will deal at optimal levels 12.8 DPS. But that's not all of course, I still have to talk about enchantments. The sword has 9 unique enchantments, but we're only going to focus on 2 of them, sharpness and fire aspect. Now you might be asking, Zug, why only these 2 enchantments? It's quite simple. These are the only two enchantments that actually increase damage against another player, everything else doesn't really have any impact on that. Sharpness follows this equation, additional damage equals 0.5 times the enchantment level plus 0.5. Since sharpness goes up to level 5, this means the maximum damage bonus is 3. This bumps up the sword damage to 11 and our DPS to 17.6. The other enchantment, the fire aspect, is far more linear, it has two levels. At level 1, it deals an additional 4 damage over 4 seconds, while level 2 deals an additional 7 damage over 4 seconds, or 1.75 DPS. Now, the difference between Fire Aspect and Sharpness is that Fire Aspect doesn't add flat damage, it adds straight DPS, which means it's not multiplied by the attack speed of the sword. As a result, if you have a Fire Aspect 2 sword, you'll deal 14.55 DPS. Now we just have to combine the two enchantments together. So you just take the DPS of a Sharpness 5 sword and add it to the 1.75 DPS of Fire Aspect 2 to get a total DPS of 19.35. And that's pretty much it for swords, so let's move on to axes. Axes are a relatively new weapon, originally only used to cut down trees. Mojang decided to make them true weapons in 1.9. Well, 1.9 was actually now several years ago, and so now it's just another weapon, I guess. But I, I've been playing Minecraft for a while, so I thought it was cool. Anyways, a Netherite Axe has a base damage of 10 and an attack speed of 1, which results in a base DPS of 10. Unfortunately for the Axe, it only gets one enchantment that boosts its damage, and you can't even get this enchantment through enchantment tables, it has to be put on through enchanted books and anvils. 
That enchantment is actually sharpness, and of course, as we discussed in the sword damage, it only adds a total of 3 damage, therefore bumping up the axe to an optimal DPS of 13. So then why, if an unenchanted axe deals 10 DPS and an unenchanted sword deals 12.8 DPS, did Technoblade and Dream duel with axes in their fight for $100,000? Of course, it's because of critical hits. I guarantee some who are watching this were wondering if I was going to bring this up. Of course I would! Who do you think I am? Now, critical hitting is one of the more intricate parts of Minecraft's relatively simple combat system. Effectively, in order to critically hit, you had to be falling while you attacked, but not be sprinting. If you did this properly, your damage is multiplied by 1.5. Doing the math for this, we multiply the damage of the sword and axe by 1.5 to get 19.2 dps and 15 dps respectively. Now, I'm sure some of you are confused. How is the sword still out doing the axe? Why would anyone use the axe if the sword is doing 4.2 DPS more than the axe? This goes into two other factors that I haven't talked about yet. Shields, obviously, and something I call effective attack speed. For shields, it's quite obvious. A shield allows the player to block incoming attacks that come from the opposite general direction of the shield. This allows a shield to completely negate almost all the damage a sword can output. The axe, however, has the passive ability to disable the shield for 5 seconds if the attacker hits while sprinting. But then you might ask, why not just have an axe to disable the shield before swapping to a sword? Now some people do do this, but not everyone does and that's because of effective attack speed. If a player is able to consistently attack every time the sword can be used for maximum damage, yes they will hit 19.2 damage per second. But the opposing player isn't going to just stand there and take it. No, they're going to run around and hit back. What ends up happening is that the axe becomes far more valuable as the effective attack speed of the sword and axe get closer to each other. If we assume that you can only really get in a good sword or axe crit every second, an unenchanted sword will only have a DPS of 12, while the axe retains its 15 DPS. But what if we include enchantments? Now here's a thing that's funny about criticals. If you use a critical, you'll realize that they don't actually multiply any damage beyond base damage. So Sharpness 5 actually diminishes in value if the attacker is critting and vice versa. As a result, a fully enchanted sword with both Sharpness 5 and Fire Aspect 2, while only hitting crits, will deal a maximum of 25.75 DPS, but only if you crit every single hit and hit 1.6 times per second. If you're unable to hit 1.6 times per second, or if you're unable to hit a crit every single time, your sword is only going to deal 16.75 DPS. The Sharpness 5 Axe, however, will deal 18 DPS with constant crits. So I hope that answers the question between Sword and Axe, which is coming from PvP, but this is already well-known knowledge among PvPers, I'm just providing the map for why. It's because of effective attack speed. But of course, these aren't the only melee weapons in Minecraft, so let's move on to the final melee weapon, the Trident. The Trident is a weird weapon that has received very little love from my Ujang since its release. With a pretty decent 9 base damage and an attack speed of 1.1, this sword has a base DPS of 9.9. Compared to the axe and sword, however, using the Trident for melee is incredibly useless. Even if you manage to crit on every single hit you try to hit, you're only doing 14.3 DPS, at least according to the Minecraft Wiki. For some reason, the Minecraft Wiki lists the critical DPS of Trident to be 14.3, but if we go by the formula of 1.5 times the base damage, the critical DPS should actually be 14.85 DPS. The Wiki also states that the critical damage dealt by a Trident is 13 instead of 13.5 as well, so I'm not sure what's up with that. It's possible that the Trident doesn't obey the same rules as the other melee weapons, but there's no hard indication of that on the wiki, or I missed it. If I had friends, I would like just test this on like, a Minecraft server, but I don't have friends, so this is going to remain purely hypothetical for the time being. Now I should have to factor in enchantments for the trident. Or do I? Another fun thing for the trident is that it has no good enchantments for the melee form. There is Riptide, which causes you to throw your body forward, but this doesn't actually increase the damage of the Trident, it just allows you to do splash damage and go fast. There's also Impaling, but that only increases damage against mobs with the C tag, and that only includes things like fish, guardians, and dolphins. It does not include things like drowning. 
Now, there are combat tests in the works that have impaling the extra damage to wet enemies instead of sea enemies, but not everything from combat tests make it into the main game, so I can't really hypothesize on that possibility. Ultimately, the Trident is stuck at its DPS of 14.85 or 14.3 for the time being. And that about wraps up all the melee weapons. If we factor in enchantments, the sword is the best weapon by far. But if we factor in things like shields and effective attack speed, the axe can potentially beat out the sword, depending on how often the sword user can hit. If they are capable of critting at least 1.2 times per second, the enchanted sword will beat out the axe, but this is, you have to be hitting a crit every 1.2 times per second. Finally, the trident should never be used. Ever. It's just cool looking, and if you're trying to fight legitimately with the trident, it's not gonna work that well for you. But, uh, that's pretty much it for Melee Weapons of Minecraft. Next video, we'll be back to Genshin stuff, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.